Adobe just released a cool new AI tool called Firefly and it's in beta, you can try it out, but I want to play around and show you the power of it. It's actually pretty surprising that Adobe has a great tool. So let's play around with it and see what it's got. So you can check it out at firefly.adobe.com. The first thing you can do is like text the image. You can also do text effects. Now let's jump into text the image and I'll show you the power of this. So for example, we can say, um, you know, uh, pyramid, pyramid, alien technology, powerful or something like that. Press enter or generate. And the cool thing with Firefly that I like, which is different to like Dali 2 or like Mid Journey, is you actually have the tools on the right hand side that we can play around with. So it's generated four images, which is cool. So this looks pretty awesome. I'm gonna go and look at these. So overall, I, the, the fidelity and the, the detail is pretty good. And I like how I can just quickly press my arrow keys and I can check it out. A lot of cool designs um, with this type of, you know, pyramid in the water, and that's really cool. I can literally just go to the side and I've got all these options here that I can change in a Jiffy. So I'm going to go and change it to landscape and it's going to automatically update. It will take a little bit of, you know, maybe five, 10 seconds. I can also change the content to like maybe a photo or a graphic. Obviously it's in beta, so it still won't recognize as much. So um, you can see it's actually already adjusted the designs, the art, which is super duper. I like it. So it's going for a, a bit of a wider angle now and um, the designs actually look different. So that's kind of cool. Added some little details here. I think that's super awesome. Now, if I'm happy with the design, you can actually easily download it. I just go to the top and click download and then it will just download. But the thing is with this is that it will tag it with Adobe Firefly. So it adds like this watermark. Yeah, in the corner, it's, you can see the like the logo there. And so basically it tells you that this is from AI. And so in the future, they'll probably allow commercial use, but at the moment, they're not gonna allow that. So let's get into styles. Now I can change stuff here. So maybe I wanna go to concepts or like themes. I can change certain look and feel over it. So let's go for um, like low poly. I'll make the effects. Uh, let's go, no, I don't want effects. I want, um, let's go neon as well. And then I'm gonna change the color and tone. Let's go maybe like vibrant. The lighting could be dramatic composition. Um, we can just leave the composition there and you can see down the bottom it adds the tags Which is super cool because I can just like click the X and delete the ones I don't want to use anymore And so I can click generate and boom now we've got a totally different result just by adding low poly neon and dramatic lighting So you can see there obviously some of the effects doesn't really like change it like I was testing pixel art before but it wasn't really doing pixel art um, But you can see it definitely made the colors different it added the glows, it made it more like neon, bright pinky, pink and blue colors and that nice gold color. So I think this is really cool. It's it's great for generating stuff, you know. Um, like for example, maybe let, let's delete all the styles here. So I'm gonna click X, uh, you can just click clear all styles on the, on the left there. And then let's go like um, dog, floating, uh, flying in the sky. And maybe you wanna make this one portrait. Let's see what that comes, let's just see what it's gonna make. And so one of the cool things is with Adobe is that it uses the images from Adobe stock. So it's not just scouring the whole internet and it's trying to minimize copyright issues basically. And so it's going to use images from Adobe stock and generate stuff. So look how this looks pretty realistic. And you can see like some of the face, face features are not the best. Like the details are a bit weird. Um, but if we click photo, it, let's see if it corrects that and makes it look more like photo realistic. So just by changing to photo, it's already made it a little bit different. It's sort of, I don't know, it's sort of added this like weird like effect. It makes it, it's, it's more sharp. Um, the fabric looks a bit better as well. The shading as well, the lighting, I think that's really cool. You can add your feedback, but I think that is super duper cool. Let's, um, let's maybe download this one. Easy. I love how you can just download it in a, in a second. Like it's super, super awesome. Awesome. So that's text to image. Let me know your thoughts below. Do you think the results were really cool? So let's go back. Now let's try text effects. Like it's super cool what we can do here. So let's go um, type a name here. So maybe we have like a brand. Let's go um, pixel design or something, right? And then let's say I want um, steam, steampunk metallic, metallic or um, Chrome, something like that. I'm gonna click generate. You can do stuff like food, like pizza, a pasta, 
um, flowers, snake skin, like a whole bunch of cool textured stuff. And it really is actually interesting. You can see here, so if I want to create like a, a weird logo or something that's more creative, maybe for like a movie or a game or something, then this would actually be a pretty good tool to use. So you can see the design there. I can't really zoom into it, but I can change the effect. So I might tighten it up. I can change the font as well. So if I click view all, I'm going to maybe select a bolder font. Let's go with maybe Poplar. Um, and then what we're going to do is change the background color to black or even maybe, maybe green. And the text color as well, you can change the text color, but because it's like more 3D, it's like that. So awesome, that looks pretty good. Lots of details. I can click on the bottom here. You've got four selections that will, if I click on it, it will just like change it. And it's basically just like a variation. It's not really, you know, much of a difference, but you might see like different details here. Um, let's click on this one as well. So I think overall that is pretty, pretty cool. I might just, um, let's go jungle mints or something. And we're going to go to view all and it's got a whole bunch of preset text effects we can already use, right? So I can go through here. I can pick, you know, leafy, um, pothos, <laughs> whatever that means. So beautiful. Look at that. It looks really awesome. And, um, I like it. I think it's really cool. It's got a lot of cool text effects that we can use. You can play around. It's just really great. It's in beta right now. You can try it out. I think it's awesome. Let me know below. What are your thoughts on Adobe jumping into the AI space? Do you think they're just trying to make some money or they're just, you know, actually offering value here in terms of graphic design, art, and the future is, you know, I wonder what the future looks like when it comes to like all this AI um, stuff, you know, look at what we'll be able to like create 3D images, patterns very fast. And so it's, if you work for your clients, it's going to be better because you have all these tools at your disposable. So, so if you want to watch me design a brand from scratch using AI, using Midjourney and ChatGPT, then check out this video right here and I'll show you how I did